We're back and it's time to infiltrate the airship of super slow auto scrolliness. And there's a burner. Burners are very, very dangerous because they fire even when you are still standing on top of them, unlike bullet bill cannons, piranha plant pipes, etc. So be very, very careful of the burners, and I highly recommend that you take the upper path if you possibly can here. So just get a head start on these nuts here. Just keep jumping on them. Jump as soon as you touch the nut, and you'll be just fine. You won't fall through and get your butt burned by those burners burners down there. So, and we made it! Yay! And there should be a prize up here if I'm not mistaken. And oh, there's also some dang gophers or whatever the heck these things are trying to attack me. And what's in here anyway? Oh, baby! It's a nice, beautiful, shiny leaf, which actually isn't shiny at all, so I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but it is new, and it's beautiful. But I have gotten a leaf before, so it's not that new. Uh, maybe I'll just take the lower path. I'm just a little bit too timid about that upper path now. I just wanted that prize from the upper path. That's all I wanted. And these are awfully close together. Jesus Christ. Yeah, precise jumping. Oh, okay, we made it past there. Man, this is going awfully slow, which actually works to our advantage because there's no bullet bills flying over, all over the place. It's just predictable burners that move with the screen. And get ready for this. This is like the worst setup ever. Just watch us, watch us, watch us. Ah, uh, see? It's just nearly impossible not to take a hit when you go through there because of how closely and in sync those two burners are and, and they move together. Now, hit this block on the very right side and oh, it wasn't, the, I forgot, it wasn't the mushroom. The thing with mushrooms is that they move in the opposite direction of the side of the block that you hit. Oh, shoot. No, no don't shoot. Don't shoot. Okay. And you're going down. I forgot your name. <laughs> I'll put it in the description. I've been putting names of the Cooper kids in the descriptions in case you didn't notice. Ooh, I've been looking up which Cooper kid is in which each, in each castle. Whew. World four is complete after two and like a third parts. Splendid, splendid, I am back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here's a letter from the princess. Give me that letter. Give me the letter. I want my prize. Greetings. The thief who stole the whistle has escaped to the east side of the sand dunes. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. Pee wing. I don't know, maybe it's a pussy wing or something, because if you use that wing to get past the level, you are a pussy. <laughs> that was a perfect clear for World 4, of course, and now we're in World 5. This is one of my favorite levels in the game, just like I said about the giant world uh, way back there, uh, when I did finish part like 7, because uh, you, you'll see when I get through the first like couple levels, look off of the chomps, by the way, they are very hungry, and so are these nipper plants. Yee. <laughs> Here's how they work. When you move above them, they jump up. Like that. Yee! Oh, those things right there, they throw blocks at you. Those blue blocks, they can pick them up and throw them at you. They are very sneaky little enemies. And where's the chomp? Isn't there a chomp down here? Oh, there's some nipper. Oh my god, Goomba from the heavens. And we're done. Level cleared. Oh, I only took one hit there, surprisingly. That Goomba was a surprise. <laughs> and ironically, I didn't take a hit from the Goomba at all. It was the uh, nipper plant that got me. One up. One up! Yeah! I remembered that. Mushroom. Ten coins. Wait, 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 wait. Ten coins? Yes, ten coins. Yay! We're rich and we got a one up. 100 coins equals one up. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. This is a star. Um, this is a star. Ah, it's star flower poopers. Well, we almost cleared the board of end cards or whatever you want to call them. And so let's go to 5 2. And we're going underground in case you can't tell. Well, actually, we kind of started underground. So I don't know what the heck. Oh, we're in pipe world here. Oh, you can go all the way down to the bottom or you can climb up to the top, which is what I like to do because it's just more fun to do so. And whoa, 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 whoa. Scoopas almost got me there because I didn't enter the pipe quick enough. Yeah, that the. Uh, 
You can go down, but I just like going up. It's just more fun. <laughs> See, there's just like so many slides and stuff like that all over the place. And I bet you there's a prize in that box. Booyah! Oh, it's just a coin. That was kind of worth my time. Okay, no, it wasn't dead in the least, but we're gonna go through this pipe. And that. Oh, we're at the end of the level. Wow. Uh, that was. What was that a shortcut or something? Because that was really quick. Level cleared. Okay, that wasn't hard at all. <laughs> and Mushroom House for hopefully a good gift. What do we get? What do we get? I'm gonna choose the middle one this time. Oh, a Tanuki suit. I'm gonna have to show you what those things do later on, but I'm gonna save it for later. But I will need a Tanuki suit to finish a level, or one of these levels, or at least a raccoon suit. They have a, a puzzle in two of these levels, actually, not just one. That, uh, really, really got me as a kid, but I remember it because it got me so badly as a kid. <laughs> Uh, whoa, Spiny. Um, is it worth it getting that thing in the box with shooty par prana plant all over the place? And I guess it was worth it. Okay, I took no hits. And I can float over the prana plant. There's Karibo shoe! Oh man, what? what uh oh. I thought I was able to take that shoe. What if I killed the Goomba inside? Ah, uh, how do I get the shoe? I want to jump around the shoe. <laughs> Shoes get me so excited, and there's some per mint, little muncher plants. I always think they're really cute. They have the little like, ovalish heads, and, and but they're quite deadly. But they only give you one hit, so it's not really that big of a deal. Wait, maybe if I throw something at them? Nope, still kills them. Yeah, I thought I was able to jump, I mean, take over their shoe, and whoa! Oh, I did not see that... Uh, that uh, spiny assault there, and that really sucked that setup I had there, and that's a very nice little trap there that they have there, because you can't stand next to the um, piranha plant pipe to, mix, to stop it from going, from popping up, so you have to time it carefully because of that muncher plant that was blocking um, where you could possibly stand. And booyah! Another one up. I am surprisingly accumulating lives. I cannot believe this, I got 22 lives. <laughs> this never happens to me in this game. Maybe it's because I've been playing New Super Mario Bros. Wii a lot. I don't know. That game is pretty hard, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. But I still feel that I play New Super Mario Bros. Wii better than I play the classic Mario games. Or so I thought. Isn't there something up here? Yes, there is. Um, oh, I want that prize. Eh! Hey, I was going to do a duck jump. Duck jump! Yay! It's a leaf. Hey, give me leaf. What's up? Ooh, I can go up there too. Uh, perhaps I should go up there if I can. Yeah. And up and up and I can't go up there. Unless, ah, uh, screw it. I'll just take the normal path. Uh, there's a thwomp. What's in here? It's another leaf. I already got a leaf. I don't need another leaf. Atomic waffles of death, and whoa, I did not pay attention to that boo up there, and I should probably just run through before I take a hit, and I took a hit anyway.